tracking all down. And there were three owners of this in France. A guy had it in Paris, right opposite the Eiffel Tower for years. And then I went to a fellow in California that had it for 20 years, and he used it almost every week. And I was very religious about driving the car. And it went through a couple of hands, and it was engine problems, so I bought it. The engine was a part of it. The guy kind of given up, so we uh, got a good deal. And it was painted light blue. It was terrible. So I did some research and found a man in Paris. I have lines on the car. We got a half an hour. Sit sitting here. Okay. But it, it had that exact line, so I painted that. And we stripped the car with black and blue. And then I got the original factory records of the car, which was made in like December of something, 1936. And it was black and blue. So this is the original color scheme. And it looks a thousand times better. Yeah, where, where it was in the light blue, it looked like a beached whale. It was terrible. So they made a difference. So they knew what you were doing back then. <laughs> 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 yeah. And even like all the headliner, the seats, the, it's all over. The front seats I had to redo. But I have the original ones and I'll eventually restore them. But everything else is original. All the numbers match. And it's actually a wood, there's a steel chassis, a wood frame for the body, and the metal's just tacked around over it. No, I don't think so. We're done? Yeah. What does that indicate there? That, that actually works the horn. There, there's horn there you could get two levels out of the horn. Yeah. And the little switch up there, like when you used to park in France on the side of the road, those aren't blinkers. But when you parked on the side of the road, the, the car, the side that was on the road, you just left that light on so they'd see you at night. So they see it? Yeah. And those little le levers there, you got to turn them on. One will turn on the gas gauge, one will turn on the lights. The little levers on the bottom. Yep. 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 What is this here? That that it works in advance retard a little bit if you want to do it. And that adjusts the idle. Like when you start it up, sometimes you got to move that up until it warms up and then you lower it back down. But even the seats to me are beautiful. They're so Beaux Arts. They just you just lift up and get in the back. And so anyone that would like to sit in there can. You know, I'll just throw that camera in the back seat. Yeah. Is it a pleasant car to drive? It is. It's. I have another a 37A, which is very Bugatti was famous for being very light and nimble. These are a lot heavier, but they were really the, the touring car of the day. So it it is a, a, a joy to drive, but even like their cable brakes, and the car weighs like 3,500 pounds. So you, you have to think about stopping. You know, when somebody in the well, modern car pulls out in front, you know, the sweat kind of comes down your brow. So. But, but they are a little heavy compared to like, but but they were the, the cream of the crop of the day. I mean, you got to think it was 36, so it's, yes. yeah. Oh, this is a type? 57, 57, and it's a two-light Von 2 coupe. Okay. So, and they have ones with the with the extra window in the back, but I don't think they look anywhere near as, uh, as rakish. It's amazing. And it has sitting on top of it. That are like a chrome. They're not chrome. They're spun aluminum. They have Pico, this is my button, and this is the zoom. Are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you're talking the same thing here. Yeah. Well, I'm a Cobra guy. I had a, oh, you bought a Cobra in $3,400 in 1971. It's my everyday car. Still have it. Love that. Thing. Yeah, probably. But I'll never sell it. I don't really care. It's just, but, but same thing. I mean, I mean, the Ferrari is more elite. Definitely. Cobra. I mean, it's still a lot of power and even a little more handling. Where is your brain here? It's not on the on, the, One works the advanced retard for, for that, and then this one's a little, it's just like a little throttle advance. Like oh, okay. when you start it up and it run a little, whatever, yeah, I mean, you have to choke, but you, you can advance as well with the advance. Yeah. 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 That actually works the shocks. There's a cable that goes down, and it will jump. It's not working right now, but they're set it. So when you go on a bumpy road, you can do that. Yes. Yeah.